Yankees. <laughs> In the meantime, let's send it on over to Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson to talk about this cold weather out there on this Friday night. Yeah, it's already feeling like January out there, and for at least some of us this weekend, it may begin to look more like January should. Not the sunny skies and temperatures around 60. So on Sunday, we've got a weather system that's going to scoot its way through the Ohio Valley. Now we're going to be riding the fence with this weather maker, so that means the rain snow line is basically going to bisect the tri state. So the most critical part of the forecast is always where does exactly that rain snow line set up right now? It looks like it's a mix of snow and rain for us. The winners of the snow will probably pick up a slushy inch or two early on Sunday. Outside right now, we've had a few flurries whisking by this evening, but not much. Of course, that's not going to amount to much. It's generally going to be quiet and cold tonight. You can see a few of those flurries here underneath those cloudy skies. Here's what we're watching tonight into the early part of your Saturday, and it's way down here. If you notice between Paducah and Evansville, this is the back edge of the cloud cover tonight. So this is where skies begin to clear. So this has to travel all the way up the Ohio River to reach us. Probably going to take the better part of the night to get here. So I expect skies to simply stay cloudy and cold through the night tonight. At least we have one thing working in our favor. While it's still pretty breezy now, those winds will begin to subside some as we head into the overnight hours because they have certainly brought in some chilly air. We are 14 degrees colder right now than we were at this exact same time yesterday afternoon. And that places us just a few degrees above freezing. We've been holding steady all day at around 34 and with that west wind, it has kept it feeling like it's in the mid 20s. So we'll get a little relief tonight from the cold in the sense that it won't be quite as blustery, especially after mid evening. Temperatures range from well 35 in West Union to just near the freezing mark over in southeast Indiana. Around the 275 loop, it's 35 in Sharonville and Hyde Park. Wyoming's at 34, 36 in Cleves and 35 over there in Harrison. So here early this evening because of the clouds, temperatures are basically going to hover just a couple of degrees above freezing. And then as the night wears on, we'll eventually drop back into the upper 20s. I do think we'll start to see some breaks in those clouds towards morning. So here's that Sunday system. As I mentioned, we're right on the rain snow line. Basically, for those of you northwest of Interstate 71, you have the best chance of staying all snow, hence the greatest chance of likely achieving that slushy, slushy inch or two. The farther south you go, Warmer air will mix in and that will result in more of a rain event on Sunday as this passes through the area. Let me show you it on Futurecast. Here's the clouds trying to break up tonight. I do think tomorrow morning clouds are still pretty stubborn out there, so it may take us a while to work into sunny skies it may take us into the afternoon, but it's quiet Saturday evening and night. And then here's that weather maker before the sun comes up on Sunday morning. I expect snow to the north, probably a wintry mix in between there and then rain maybe the south of the 71 75 split. But notice throughout this event, we will basically ride right along the rain snow line. So the farther north you are, the greater your chances of picking up predominantly snow, thus the slushy accumulation and farther south more rain. So in terms of amounts, what are we thinking right now? We're going with about an inch or two for most of us. But should that warm air push a little farther north than expected, that of course could cut down on the totals, especially near the Ohio River. So 28 for a low tonight and then tomorrow about 41. Again, it may take us a while to work our way into some sunshine. So a chilly but you know seasonably cool January afternoon. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Quiet Saturday. We'll keep an eye on that Sunday system and then quiet weather starts next week and then it looks like we've got another potent storm in here on Wednesday that could start as snow before going over to rain. Kevin, thanks so much. Well, a high wind gusts bring a restaurant sign down right on.